Welcome back to my classic Fords. Here's the 98 that we picked up the other day. I just started the very first step and that's wash it. So went over it really good, got her scrubbed up. I like using dish soap because it takes any oil or scum or anything off it, like tree scum, any undercoating, anything like that. So it came pretty clean just on its own. And I did start buffing it down. Hopefully you'll be able to see it when we get there. All right, so I started doing the box. So I think that looks a little, little cleaner. Definitely got a little shine to it. You can really see that dent now. So we'll have to see what we can do about that. But this just goes to show you, this is just what it looks like when it's clean. And then look how much, look how much difference the back end of that looks. That's just from a really good job doing a hand wax. So what I'm about to do is I'm going to try, you can see where somebody for some reason decided to try to do a touch up there and I would say they used a spray bomb. So we're going to try to buff that out. So we're going to try to use like a heavy duty rubbing compound, see if we can't get rid of the spray paint look. And that's what it looks like now. So that's been, all that paint's been buffed off, that old spray paint. I mean, you can still see a stain where it was. I mean, that paint, that spray paint's actually put a texture in the original paint now. So you'll never, you'll never make it absolutely perfect again. But that's pretty good. At least it's not as noticeable anymore i think it looks better than it did before and basically what i used some rubbing compound and just some elbow grease i just buffed it out with a rag also try buffing this little spot out we'll work on that a little bit more but that was a spray paint spot and you can see how it actually stained the the clear coat so again, it looks less noticeable. I think I can get this one a little better yet. But that one definitely looks much better than it did before. And the next thing is, I just bought some used tires. I had, I had these wheels left over from another truck that I had. They're in really good shape still. And I actually just picked these tires up the other day, used, but they're they're still pretty good. Definitely nothing wrong with those. And that's what's going on the truck. And as you can see, they are slightly taller. So we may have to we may have to tweak the suspension a little bit to squeeze them on. I'm not sure. Well, that's the next project. We'll finish buffing down the truck get all of the get all the little stains off and try to get some scratches taken care of and then we'll stick those on all right I just moved it over to the slab we're gonna stick some tires on it see how we make out with that so starting to come around starting to look pretty good <clears throat> that side definitely looks much better after the spray paint's gone so we got a little more buffing to do didn't get this side done yet so we'll stick some tires on and see how we make it with that
and there's a new set of tires well new used but that's some of the things you got to do to increase the value really good set of meaty tires as you can see i need to get some lug nuts i need to clean up the wheels but those lug nuts are what they call flange flange style nuts i don't have them tight right at the moment i need to go get some acorn style but i just wanted to get them on there and get them tried to make sure they work we're gonna have to put wheel spacers in behind these wheels because they are just a little too close to the caliper for comfort got like a 16th but we'll put a quarter inch wheel spacer in there just to make sure we got a lot a little extra room but so far we got a little more polishing to do to the, the body clean it up a little bit more next thing on a tackle gonna tackle that grill as you can see it's faded really bad so we'll give it a light sanding and we'll put a little bit of paint on it just to make it look a little bit more attractive doesn't cost much to do that in my opinion for whatever that's worth i think that's a pretty cool looking truck So I'm about to call it quits for the night, but I think I made pretty good progress. Starting to look quite a bit better. Turns out the miss in the engine was actually just a fuel filter. Fuel filter was definitely more than clogged. So now it runs, it runs great. Um, so for under $10, I put a new fuel filter on it and it took 10 minutes. I put a new air filter in it just while I was at it just what the hay so now it's a it's an excellent running truck and it's starting to come around it's starting to look pretty good so stay tuned and follow along and hope you like the progress so far thanks for watching